What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana Deer Techno Dad here and today we're going to discuss the brand new 2020 line of the Marantz AV receivers. It's the SR15 series is what I like to call them because it's the 50, 15, 60, 15, 70, 15 and the 80, 15. Oh yeah, all you Marantz fans out there, you're going to love this. Let's just start it off with uh, release dates and pricing, shall we? Let's get into it. Looks like we've got a mid-July release for the SR7015 at a retail of $22.99. And following in mid-August is the SR8015 at $31.99. And looks like we've got the 5015 and 6015 releasing mid-September with retails of $1,099 and $1,599 respectively. Now I know after the Denon announcement of their new AVRs featuring 8K and DTSX Pro, all you guys were asking, well, when are the Marantz ones coming? When are the Marantz ones coming? They didn't say anything until I got this press release yesterday. So you guys are hearing it fresh, hot off the press here at the Techno Dad YouTube channel. So what else do we have in store? What kind of features do we have in these Marantz? Well, let's go to the chart and break it down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And as I discussed in the previous video about the Denons and how they're trickling down their 13 channel processing, that happens on the SR8015 here on the Marantz line. So to get 13 channels of processing, it has come down a little bit. It's gonna retail for $3,200, 11 channels of power, 13.2 channels processing, 140 watts per channel into eight ohms, and that's full bandwidth with harmonic distortion at 0.05, two channels driven. Now this second line here, output power, you are gonna to wanna to just and disregard that whole situation, that whole entire line. Just block it out of your mind. You don't want to look at that line for reliable power output numbers. All right, the biggest thing we've got here is 8K 60 and 4K 120 HDMI pass-through. We have that on all four models. 8K upscaling on all four models. As far as HDMI in and out, we've got six in, two out on the 5015. 6015 has got seven in, three out, and the 7015 and 8015, we have eight in and three out. And I'm sure you're probably wondering how many 8K HDMI ports you get with these AV receivers. And the answer to that, just like the Denons, it's one. Okay, you get one 8K port. So if that's gonna be your gaming console or your PC, you're gonna to wanna to plug it in there. Now you're probably wondering, well, Techno Dad, what if I have two 8K devices? Like you got both consoles coming up uh, this holiday season. Well, I would say whichever console you play the most, plug that into your AV receiver in the 8K port. So the second one you're going to plug into your TV and send all the uncompressed audio via Enhanced Audio Return Channel or eARC to the AVR and you're all set. If you have three, if you have a crazy, crazy fast gaming computer, which can do 4K 120, and we all know there are, could be some, but oh, well, you know, that's gonna be like a three or $4,000 machine. And you know, these consoles are coming in at like 500 bucks. Are they really gonna do 4K 120? That is a different story altogether. I'm sure they'll probably do, you know, 1080, 120, maybe checkerboard 4K 120, but native 4K 120 with ray tracing, hmm. That's gonna be tough. We'll see, we'll see. Might not even be for a few years. Anyway, let's get back to these Marantz AV receivers. Looks like we've got dual subwoofer output on all four models. IMAX enhanced on only the top three models. So to get IMAX enhanced on a Marantz AVR, you're looking at getting the 6015 at $1,600. Oro 3D is exclusive only to the 7015 and the 8015. And it looks like DTSX Pro is only going to be on the SR8015 and there's going to be a firmware update sometime this year to get that happening. And as far as Odyssey room correction, it looks like the 6015, 7015 and 8015 all have the higher end XT32. So with the SR8012 and an external amp, you can set up a 13 channel system 7.2.6 or 9.2.4. So you can have that little bit of flexibility, but only on the $3,200 model. Now I know the Denon and Marantz are very similar and here we also get the preamp mode on the Marantz AV receivers starting from the 6015 on up. So the minimum barrier for that is $1,600. Whereas on the Denons, I think that was like $1,200. And we also get the quick media switching, variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, and quick 
frame transport. The new Marantz AVRs also have HEOS support along with being rune tested and support FLAC, DSD, WAVE, and other uncompressed audio formats. And of course, all four models support an advanced phono stage with HDAM. We've also got auto input rename, which is cool. I believe it started on the Denon X3600s and it's now on to the Marantz as well. So you don't have to rename everything and write down what's going where HDMI input wise. So that's kind of cool feature. And I believe they have a video select where you can select a video and have different audio playing. And I love that because I can play Call of Duty and my wife wants to listen to music. I can just have, you know, whatever music going and have Call of Duty all coming through the system at the same time. That's awesome. So the good folks at Denon are sending over an X6700H, which retails for around $2,500. And I told them that it would be kind of cool to compare an equally priced Marantz from the new line. So that looks like it's going to be the 7015, which is $2,200. Yeah, the options and, you know, what you get on the Denon, you get a little bit more, but then you get that, uh, you know, extra Marantz name and of course the Marantz sound. So I will be comparing the two, maybe opening them up to see what's going on. And all the shots you've probably seen in this video have all been from the 8015, which looks pretty massive and very impressive with that like toroidal transformer in there. That looks pretty sick. So I can't wait to get a Marantz in. I actually haven't reviewed a Marantz AVR at all. So that would be kind of cool to check out. And uh, what do you guys think? I wanna know if you guys have been waiting for a new Marantz AVR. Are these the ones you're waiting for? Are you gonna wait a little bit longer? What is up? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions about this or anything else, let me know down there. Or you can use social or email, whatever. It's up to you. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm the Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time.